<laughs> OK, what I've got here are the results of the Top Gear survey. Now, this is the biggest motoring survey ever undertaken in the civilised world. Uh, 76,000 of you wrote in to tell us what your cars are like to own. Uh, I'm going to start at the bottom. That's more interesting. Uh, so, uh, third from bottom, in 157th place from France, it's the Renault Espace. Yay. OK, uh, second from bottom, from France, it's the Peugeot 307. <laughs> and in last place, the least satisfying car that you can own from France, the Peugeot 807. Yes. Yay. Yes. Yeah, it is. Well, I don't clap. I really wouldn't clap. Obviously, we did contact Peugeot and, you know, they were going to send one to us, but then we think they must have guessed why we wanted one here and they said no overnight it had an accident yeah. so we've replaced it with this bucket of horse manure yeah um, <laughs> Because that's kind of what it's like, really. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, really, about this survey. We can tell you what a car is like to drive. And the 807 is like that to it drive. Is, it is, absolutely. Um, but you have to tell us, kind of, what they're like to own. Precisely. Hang on. I, I've just noticed something here. Of the bottom 13 cars yeah. in this survey, ten of them are French. Ooh. Ten? Ooh. Ten. Yeah, that's probably why they're burning so many in Paris at the moment. <laughs> You'll probably find they're just catching fire by themselves. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's what it's all about. Of the uh, three in the bottom 13 that aren't French, we've got the Mercedes M-Class, the Fiat Stilo and the Rover 25. Uh, according to people who own them, the dealers have just disappeared. Just... <laughs> and if you ring the factory, the phone just rings and rings, no one picks it up, you know. That's just rude. It is just rude. Come on, Rover, buck your ideas. Put your finger really. <laughs> Answer finger. the phone. Um, we, we should look at the other end of the scale, really. Yeah. The good cars yeah. as well. So the, the top three um, in third place, the third best to own, is from Japan, the Lexus RX. Uh, in second place, from Japan, uh, the Lexus IS. And in first place, the best car you can buy and own in Britain today, oh. from Japan, Ooh, it is... Oh is it by God. any happy chance the Honda S2000? Yes, it is! Yes. It's the car that yeah. Jeremy yes. constantly the best car. It's the best sports car. It's the winner. Um, I've been banging on about that for years, about that's the best sports car, and now you've proved me right. It doesn't say it's the best sports car, it says yeah, it's it the most that. reliable. Exactly, and who buys that's a sports boring. car to be reluctant? <laughs> <laughs> you can't Unfortunately, I'm not able to show you what it says on this piece of paper, but uh, it's the new way I've got for stopping them talking rubbish. <laughs> so there we are, the Honda S2000 is the best car that you can buy. Now, anyone here got any cars they want to know where they came in the survey? Yes. The what? Sorry, who said what? The Deo Matias was 131st. 131st most satisfying car in Britain today. And not only that, it's rough, but we've got a, we really got a Matias. Hold on a minute, I've just got to come and meet you. You've got a Deo Matias. Did have a Matias. Do you want Would to know you what say, that failed on? What? Everything. <laughs> no, on, on everything. Handling, engine, reliability, custom, every single aspect of colour the lot. Was that your experience of it? It were good. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. 76,000 people disagree with you. How do you feel now? Right, anyone else? A C class Mercedes. I don't need to look, but it comes very low down. C class. Uh, 115. <laughs> 150. Oh, Has it been rubbish? Oh, no, superb. A satisfied Mercedes customer. Superb, superb vehicle. In the immortal yeah. words of Basil Fawlty, we having stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that fell down on, again, everything. Really Reliability, would do. engine, gearbox, the electrics, the customer service, comfort, the customer service practicality. The customer service is poor. Oh, finally, we're getting there. So it's, it's yeah. Poor. Yeah, poor. But you don't mind that. You spend, yeah. How much did you spend on it? £25,000. £25,000. You get poor customer service and you say it's excellent. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Anyone else? Junior X type. You just look up Mondeo, it's exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 41. 41? Was that good? Has yours been good? Yeah. It's only about a month old. Brilliant. No, those, they, they aren't bad, actually. I, like the, I do like the four-wheel drive estate. Have you got one of those? Yes. 
Have you? Yes, did have. Damn, I was rather hoping you'd say no. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, if you want to see where your car has come on this survey, uh, it's on the internet. But unfortunately, due to the unique way the BBC is funded and organised, it's not on our website. No, no this, this is slightly awkward. It's a commercial thing. Um, but let put it this way, if you went to Google and let's say you put in, I don't know, top, mm. maybe gear, and perhaps survey, uh, you'd find it quite You'd easy. find it, we just can't say what the name of it is, uh, and I'm sorry about that. But anyway, if you do that, you will be able to find out uh, whether the car you're planning on buying is good or French. <laughs> <laughs>